Hello dear students. This is your English teacher Kasab Bashir. The students, I welcome you in the second part of the video lecture about speak up written by Faiz Ahmed Faiz. The students in this video, I shall give you the introduction of the poem, central idea of the poem, summary of the poem, and I will also talk about the various poetic devices used by the poet in the poem. Let's get started. introduction the students the poem speak up is an english translation of an urdu poem bol written by an eminent urdu poet and a noble nominee faiz ahmed faiz and translated from urdu by shu k kumar this poem has been taken from faiz's collection of poems naqshe faryadi published in 1941 in this poem the poet intends to give voice to the oppressed and voiceless people he addresses to his countrymen that they should stand against the tyranny and brutality of the britishers the students the beauty of this poem is that it is still relevant and read by nations under occupation and yet to get freedom this poem gives them hope to live and dream of a prosperous life in the years to come central idea The students the central idea of the poem is that people should stand against oppression and fight for their rights summary the students the poem speak up is a beautiful expression of the poet to defy oppression this poem is of profound meaning it intends to give voice to the voiceless faiz ahmed faiz a staunch believer of the classless society wants to free the low class people of society from the clutches of the selfish high class people the poet instigates the suppressed people of his society to raise their voice against the injustices done to them he urges them to speak up because their lips cannot be sealed by cruel people he tells them to use their power of communication to break the shackles of brutality he encourages his people to use their well built strong bodies to free themselves from the tyranny of the tyrant as long as they are alive to bring home the objective of his say to the people the poet uses various metaphors and symbols he uses the symbols of simidi own flams padlocks and fetters the simidi is the struggle going on for india's freedom the own is the heat generated by the death of the various martyrs The flames are the voices of protest that have begun to rise. The padlocks and the fetters are clearly the symbols of slavery. They are waiting to be melted in the simidi of the freedom fighters. What the poet means to say through these symbols is that the common people should also join this struggle and raise their voices against the cruel repression of the British rulers. The padlocks and the fetters of slavery have already begun to melt and the cooperation of the common people will surely boost the moment. Finally dear students the poet urges the oppressed people to speak up before the time is out and they expire. He encourages them that justice is not dead. So one should be daring enough to speak what is truth and lawful. Poetic devices metaphor The students the poet has used various metaphors in this poem like the own the flames the padlock and the fetter the students these metaphors have been used to describe india's freedom struggle in a symbolic manner the own and fierce flames have been used as metaphors that stand for the courage against the harsh oppression while padlocks and fetters are also used metaphorically to mean the chains in which indian people had been shackled images the students following are the images used by the poet in the poem simidi red own fierce flames padlocks the fetters personification the students following is example of personification used by the poet in the poem The padlocks are already opening their mouths. 
Okay, students, this was all about the poem. I'll meet you very soon with another video. Till then, stay blessed. Khuda Hafiz.